In this video, I just want to remind you how to find your mates and how to edit them. So all mates in the assembly are stored down here in a mate group folder, which I can expand, or any mate associated with a part, the part will have its own mate folder. And when I expand the part, I can see which mates are associated with that part and edit them as need be. If I'm worried a mate is causing a problem, I can select that mate and then I can suppress it and it's as if that mate's no longer there. So now I can move my part this way. When I come back here and I select the mate again and unsuppress it, then the mate's reapplied and I can no longer move my component that way. If I'm not happy with how a mate is or I feel the part should be oriented in a different orientation, I can right click on any mate and I can tell it to flip the mate alignment and we can see how my part rotated around and I have a warning. What about these other affected components? And I'm gonna say yes. So up here, it lets me view the current mates when I do that, and I'll close it. The other option I have is I can select a mate, and then I can say edit the feature, just like any SolidWorks feature, and it'll show up here in the mate folder. And that's the same folder as if I'd started a mate by clicking mate here. So I'm just going to close that. So again, I can edit this mate. It will open up. I can right click here and I can clear my selections or I can only delete the one selection. I'll leave these though. And that way I can replace what's mated here. I can change my mate type or I can come down here and I can flip the mate alignment with these buttons. And again, I'll answer okay. And I'll say yes. That mate is done being edited. If I want to edit it again, it's, I see it here. I double click on it and it will open up. So I'm going to close this. And that's a quick look at where our mates are in the part and how we can edit them.